Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes. In Dorico, there is an incredibly useful tool for inserting notes in the middle of existing music. Let me show you how it works. In normal operation, inputting notes will overwrite any existing music at that rhythmic position. Engaging this button in the notes toolbox, or typing I, will invoke insert mode. The caret is adorned with these finials to indicate insert mode is active. Now when you input more music, all subsequent notes are shuffled along to make room. There are many situations where this could be useful. For instance, you might have input a passage of music, perhaps using step time input with a MIDI keyboard, and realise that you mistakenly omitted a note several bars back. With insert mode, there's no need to delete notes and start again. Simply move the caret to the location of the missing note, engage insert mode and input as normal. It also gives you the freedom to add more music at any rhythmic position. Perhaps you might like to add another phrase in the middle of this passage. The way Dorico handles renotating existing music means there is no penalty for moving notes around, giving you greater flexibility as you compose. Insert mode works for removing notes as well, pulling back music to the right of the caret as you use the backspace key. And it also operates even when note input is not active. See how lengthening the duration of this note pushes out the following notes. This can be useful when fixing mistakes, but also I find a quick way of transcribing music is to input the pitches of a passage with a MIDI keyboard all using just one note duration, then go back over them with insert mode active, setting the required note lengths. As you work, you'll discover numerous uses for insert mode. For instance, I can select rests and press backspace to pull subsequent music in, or I can change the duration of rests. For instance, invoke insert mode before using the double or halved note duration commands to avoid overwriting music or leaving gaps between notes. For instance, applying a time signature change with insert mode active will instantly pad out incomplete bars that may have arisen from inserting bar lines or time signatures at specific rhythmic positions. Now by default, insert mode affects the current voice. For example, in this passage with two voices, I can insert some music in the upstem voice and the downstem voice remains unaffected. This is great then for fixing mistakes, as other voices are not pushed out of their correct position. However, if you're inserting a new passage of music, you might well need to retain the relative position of other voices, and of course this can mean multi-stave instruments such as a piano. You can manage the scope of insert mode by long pressing the button in the notes toolbox and then choosing either voice, player or global. You can also use the key command Alt-I to cycle between the different insert mode scopes. When the player scope is active, music in all voices on all staves belonging to that player will be affected by insert mode edits. In note input, the caret extends with dotted lines to show the greater extent to which it operates. And when the global scope is active, those dotted lines extend over all music in all players across the whole ensemble, indicating that the entire system will be affected by insert mode. The fourth and final scope available is similar to global, but will extend the length of the bar to accommodate the new music. Again, an extremely useful tool, especially when composing. Sometimes you might want to prevent music after a certain point from being affected by insert mode edits. This is what the stop position is for. You can enable the stop position by clicking this button on the system track or by making a selection and using the key command Shift Alt I. Now any edits made with insert mode active will not affect music after the stop position. You can use the system track button or key command to set a new stop position or drag it to a new position. Hold Alt while you drag to make a more precise placement. Drag the stop position off the end of the system to remove it. And that's insert mode in Dorico. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.